Carol was talking to me there. Sorry. Now then, it's the time... Oh, it's always you, isn't it, Carol? Even again. if it wasn't, we blame her anyway. <laughs> now, it's the time of the week when we take a look at the dilemmas that have been sent to the nation's agony aunts. Uh, it's in our feature, If I Were You. So first up, writing to Jane O'Gorman in The Star, a woman poses the following dilemma. She's recently started a new relationship and her partner has already uttered those three little words, I love you. And it's clear he expects her to say it back, but she's not sure if she does love him yet. So if you were her, mm. Zoe, what would you do? Mm, would you well, say I love you back just to... If I were her, her, I would say oh that's really sweet lovely make him feel nice but you know what you must never say those three words if you don't really mean it they're the most important three words in life i think so no just fluff over it <laughs> but don't make him feel like oh she so doesn't love me back yeah don't you think, Carol? Well, um, yeah, well, there's three things you can do, I think, right? The first one is if he says, I love you, and you don't really feel like you want to say it, just say, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that always does it. Or, I mean, I, I, I personally, I think if you don't sort of feel it at the same time, then, I don't know, it's all a bit... Because when people say, I love you, and it's too soon, yeah. you know, what can you say? I mean, it, the only thing to do, really, is be honest, is just to say, no, you don't, yeah. it's too early, now put a sock yeah. in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, I, and I don't think the relationship ever recovers from that, when someone said it first and no. you don't feel it, and then he said it, and I think you always you feel you've got just, the upper hand. Yeah, you can't just but say I think, it. I think if, it's usually said in the heat of passion, isn't it? When mm. you, I don't know why I keep looking at you, Carol. No, I don't <laughs> know why. The relationship first starts <laughs> off. And um, I say it's usually in the heat of passion. I just think I'd just snog him back without saying anything. Yeah, yeah. Without, yeah just so when you say it. anything, sure. but just to avoid it. I just, yeah. <laughs> just, I think it's embarrassing anyway. I mean, it's, I think it's really difficult. I think I might say, well, let's just have a banoffee pie and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love banoffee pie. I love you, banoffee pie. That's what I'd say. But when I was married, you know how you get glibly, like you always go, love you, love you, love you. And one day, the postman came to the door, opened the door, took a package, and I went, love you, shut the door, and I went, oh. <laughs> just, just told the postman, I love you, so it can be, it can it's be. you shouldn't say it too much. No, it can be do end up saying it to everybody. It's like take care, isn't it, which people ladle around all over yeah. the place, and they couldn't care less if you walked under a bus. And if you no. say, <laughs> love you too <laughs> much, <laughs> it's, well, they do. I it's hate the people same. who hardly know yeah. you, they take care. And, you know, they yeah. don't care if you take care or not. I did, I did know a guy who ran me up and he did say, I love you, you know. I went, yeah, no, bye, see you next week then. <laughs> <laughs> and there is... Shall we move on to our next, if I mm. were you? Well, next up, a woman has told the Mirror's Miriam Stoppard that her daughter wants a horse for her 16th birthday. They live near wealthy friends who have horses, and the girl's grandparents um, have said they'll pay for the horse. But the woman explains that her daughter is moody and short-tempered of late. So should she let her daughter have that horse? Now, Sharing. listen to me. I think that a horse is a very good idea because it'll keep her away from sex. <laughs> because if they've got a horse, they won't bother with boys. No, you're wrong. It, no, no, it's true. Listen, I, I've had a horse most of my life. I haven't got one now. <laughs> and then I haven't got a man either, so I don't know. Right, well, but anyway, I just think it teaches them discipline, it teaches them caring about welfare for an animal, the responsibility of a creature like that, you know, if you monitor them and make them realise what they've got, I think it would teach them a lot. Yeah, no, but my best friend you... had one. She had a horse at school. Maybe her mum bought hers to keep away from men. She ended up sleeping with a stable boy. So, <laughs> no. And you know who you are, darling. But no, you see, now if it was me, <laughs> the generous side, spoily side of me would, would, would want to go, oh, you know, have it. Uh, yeah, you know, just, we'll think about it. But first of all, you've got to do certain, you know, things. Like Jake wants some sort of PlayStation-y thing and... And I've, and I've made him a little chart, and he's got, to, he's got to have ten good boy stars. So I think she should learn. Oh. She has to do something in return. You can't just have everything you want. Although I do, I do like to give and spoil. So, but I think that's, that, that would be the answer for me. If I were you, make her do something, some chores. My son was cleaning out the car and mowing the lawn on Sunday, and he's eight. 
Yeah, well, if I were you, I'd tell her to get on her bike, not her horse, and get out and get a paper round or something, or a supermarket shelf-stacking job to save up the money for a horse if she wants it that much. Mm. And then she can learn all about looking after it. And I just think it teaches her to be spoiled, just giving yeah, her a horse. Yeah. I just wouldn't do that. Just yeah. wouldn't do it. It's, you know, you, you say, you know, it would teach her discipline and, and how to... It's a horse, not a hamster. It's a horse. <laughs> do you know how much horses cost? OK, so our rich friends up the road have got horses... I want a horse. Yeah. No. Yeah. I would just say no. If I were you, just say no. Just say no. Just say yeah. no. You're right. If you want a horse, buy your own blimmin' horse. Mm. Go back to work. Get your... Because they cost an absolute fortune. What no. She, what if she wants a hamster, then? Oh, well, it's different, She can it? save up for that, too. She and then she'll appreciate that. it. Oh, yeah. It's like that Veruca Salt in Charlie and the Chocolate I Factory. Want... She, I want this, I want this, I want this. And, I want... and, I want... and she, the more she got, the more she wanted, wanted something yeah, else. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right, and finally, Miriam's had another letter from a woman who loves her boyfriend. The trouble is, he doesn't care about his appearance. And when they go out together, she makes all the effort while he constantly dresses down. She knows it's a bit shallow, but she can't fancy him when she hates the way he dresses mm. that much. So, would you make him change his appearance? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> what would you do? Well, How firstly, would I wouldn't that? be out with a scruffy, stinky man. And um, I think that if we had to go somewhere where he needed to dress up and he, was, and he didn't have it, then I'd go and buy it for him, lay it on the bed and go, darling, you look fabulous in that. Get it on. Let's go. But that's a little bit yeah. controlling. I, I did go yeah, out well. with a guy once that he, just had the worst dress mm. sense. And in fact, his clothes were all too small. He just wore them <laughs> till he was like, you know, <laughs> since he was about from 18 to the age of 32. So he had short trousers on. They were too short. <laughs> no, everything was too small and no. way too tight. And, you know, I, I very, very politely said to him, we're going shopping. And I threw all his clothes in the bin. Sorry, and I'm controlling. And I'm controlling. <laughs> shopping he chose everything i didn't buy everything put it on the bed and go mm, here darling you look lovely in this i said come on let's go shopping and i and i helped him out actually and he thanked me for it good yes because he began to look like a grown-up and there's <laughs> nothing nicer than a man in a suit is there and he, he looks he looks really really good actually yeah. when i first met mark i did make him buy a dinner suit mm. see you know you, we don't we go to quite a lot of functions where you need to have a so like actually, to be fair though mark looks great in a you know like you in a paper bag i mean you put honest to god he's so gorgeous <laughs> well, much have you you in a paper bag. well i'm not telling you yeah <laughs> you sure it wasn't on your head <laughs> <laughs> do you think it matters sherry what would you do would you change oh, no. his clothes the thing is if he's a scruffy creature anyway he's not gonna change is he no. is there a difference between scruffy and grungy yeah, grungy's quite no. stylish. Is that, is that, I, think, is I is like that, grungy. Oh, grungy. Yes, I no, like grungy. No, that's all scruffy. Bit, you like is Johnny it? Depp, he's a bit grungy. Is he grungy? grungy. Oh, well, I like it then. Is that dirty sort of look? <laughs> I just don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like it. it scrubs up all right, though. You know, sometimes you've got to scrub up. There's certain things you go to where yeah. it's disrespectful not Absolutely. to dress up. Yeah. And you can't fancy a man in. that looks like he needs a bath. End of. Yeah. Oh, no. You did? You I was swampy. Who? You did! Didn't you go out with Swampy? Oh, the blooming hell, Swampy! <laughs> he was an eco-warrior, wasn't he, Swampy? Lift oh, up no, the tree. Yeah, you got the wrong one. one. He was no, in the tree. Kate, exactly. No, it was Kate Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> she went out with Swampy. <laughs> the Swampy. <laughs> and it wasn't Swampy. <laughs> swampy had lovely values, don't worry. He was a bit grungy, he just, but very dirty. he was lovely, was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, um, we've met one for...